pet albino. I guess that is like a fantastic way to start a new live stream. And um, once again, as always, it's been a while. So uh, hopefully today we do not have quality issues uh, with the live stream. Uh, please leave a comment below. Like first thing, <clears throat> I obviously I need to wait. Still someone is uh, joining. It's uh, still a bit early on a Friday, but uh, that's like basically the only time that I was able to squeeze out of my schedule. So if you are watching right now, please let me know if the quality is okay this time. The last time I was so convinced that there is no issue with my connection. And uh, yeah, well, you, um, you told me I was wrong. So uh, first of all, this is why it, it took us quite some time to... Um, to fix it, uh, we had uh, apparently our Wi-Fi uh, was showing that it was working, uh, but that was it. So, uh, but now everything should be fixed, and we are back with our like weekly live stream. Hopefully, lots of you can join in, or otherwise, of course, we're gonna upload it anyways later on, so you can have a look. Um, and enjoy the live stream whenever you uh, have the time for it. Um, as always, let me know from where you're watching. I'm always curious to get to know who's watching. And especially it's always fun to see like uh, from where you are uh, watching right now. <clears throat> so the past few weeks... And I do realize, indeed, that I uh, always keep saying the same things, but it's been crazy once again, uh, and it still is. So we have uh, a lot of things to do uh, with my other company, with, uh, uh, with the seafood. I just got back from a seafood show. I was supposed to go to Boston. Uh, that would have been the very first time flying to the US uh, for me. Uh, unfortunately, I had to cancel the flight uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully, um, I need to check like when is the next uh, Tinley show? Is it? Uh, I believe uh, next week, the uh, on the weekend, um, the show takes place, and once again, like on um, in October, at least I think so. If you ever have been to Tinley, let me know, uh, like, um, what uh, what show is best, uh, is best. So, do you prefer the March show, the October show? I have no idea, to, to be honest. So, um, let's check uh, some of the animals that we still have, like, uh, at our place. It's always, like interesting for me as well to see and to check the animals uh, since I mostly don't have the time to do it um, except I'm doing a live so this beauty right here just got out of um, her shed it's a female red dragon from 2023 very nice color um, especially from this litter uh, the animals are Super dark, very much like um, how they turn out. And uh, like once again, the request, please send me a thumbs up in the in the comments if the quality of the of the life is um, is good this time. I don't want to to have the same nightmare. Um, as it's been like the last time. I believe I even saw the uh, the comment filmed on a potato. Thanks for that. Kind of uh, made me smile. So uh, what else we got? Here we do have a, a VPI blood. But I just realized that it's uh, really difficult to, to get the real color. This beauty is close before shedding. 
Uh, the cool thing about the VPI blads is <clears throat> that once again, as always with the VPI, uh, they need time, but uh, it's definitely worth waiting till they, till they are like, let's say two years old. Um, they definitely lighten up a lot here. It's also, she's also in chat. This is a, this is a, a VPI Sun Dragon, <coughs> but uh, doesn't look ex as spectacular as she used to be. If she's out of, uh, if she is out, fresh out of chat. Um, yeah, what's going on here? Uh, of course, we do have like uh, very few. Um, uh, very few uh, females that are uh, probably pregnant, like this uh, moon glow motley. I'm not, not quite sure about it, but it kind of looks like that at least one female <clears throat> is pregnant. I'm very happy, uh, by the way, for the for the litter that uh, uh, Stefan from Sweden received recently. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, you can check out the Labyrinth group uh, on Facebook. And he posted like a ton of pictures. So uh, he bought one of our, I think it was a Labby, 100% had snow and uh, produced an incredible, beautiful litter. So at least um, he was successful. And uh, I still hope, I have high hopes that we might see some visuals um, this year as well, but uh, check out this uh, this incredible litter. It's definitely worth it. So um, there's also another female, but she's she's like disappeared. Uh, this is a VPI Suntech head anery that uh, was bred with a, um, a Labby 100% head VPI and. Uh, I saw her on the on the heat mat quite often, so that was um, uh, it's always like a very promising sign because usually the females don't do this unless they are pregnant. <clears throat> hey Hector, what's up? Great to see you here as well, and thanks a lot. I I was actually really missing it, and it was also a shame to not be here and be able to post animals like I definitely need to do this more often and uh, I definitely want to and uh, yeah like this one here see look yeah Stefan if you uh, if you guys are looking for uh, uh, to, to check out the pictures of his uh, litter. Um, make sure to, to look for Scandinavian boas, then you are most probably more successful. Um, so, and until you found his account, we have a look at this Labby. This is a Labby female, 100% head VPI snow. She is born in 2021. <clears throat> and uh, indeed, we do have like uh, very few animals uh, of the 21s uh, available. Um, just today, my, one of my employees, Mark to be exact, um, was taking a few more pictures in this little setup right here. And uh, so that's definitely uh, our next topic to upload those pictures uh, to our website. Uh, we also have some <clears throat> 2023 animals that are going to be uploaded very soon. Actually, they already been uploaded, but I still have to release them uh, to make a final check um, to really show them on our website. So, um, Kirk, hello, how are you doing? Let me know, is it like, have you been from uh, Canada or is this, is this just, uh, is this just me? So what else can we have a look at? Um, there are so many beauties for sure that 
um, just recently also started to um, started feeding again. Um, we did have like quite some challenges with uh, a few litter, but now we got all the babies started uh, quite well. And also like we uh, received, um, we also received uh, the very first two litter of our um, 2024 season. Uh, I posted a few pictures <clears throat> on our website as well. And here, this is the animal that I was looking for. This is a hypo spectre. It's a hypo spectre female born in 2023. And uh, this beauty going to be available. So this is right now the only female that going to be available at, uh, from our place. So um, just as always need to take a few pictures and upload it. Also, we have some beauties like this here. This is um, also a female from 2023, obviously. And uh, she's a black eye anery <coughs> ghost. And uh, not quite sure, but um, as we found out last year that our um, BEA stuff also carries um, anery type one with it. And I'm kind of convinced that this year is a double visual. Um, because usually the BAAs are not that light. Um, the eyes for sure say that this is a BEA. Um, and the rest of the body uh, tells me that there is uh, something else at play. What are we looking at here? To be honest, I have no clue. So uh, yeah. it's most probably it is a, oh, it is a VPI. Uh, Sanglo, that's for sure. Um, and from what I see, it's a VPI, Sanglo Jungle, um, Posh Head BEA. And it is a, a male. So definitely also a nice animal. And especially the, the BEA litter have been crazy. There have been a, a crazy uh, um, amount of different um, variations. Here you have a hypo jungle, uh, pause head specter. So this is a female. And uh, what else? Are there any questions that you uh, that you do have right now? Please let me know. That's always a way that's really helpful for me because I don't have to like think about my own topics all the time. Here we have a, a IMG Aztec Motley, 100% head specter. And uh, these beauties are from 2022. <clears throat> Also, of this litter, we do have uh, very few animals left available. So, just in case you're looking for a beauty, we're currently planning, as always, uh, shipping to the US end of May. So, there's still, still some time left. <clears throat> and uh, But in the end, we are going to be able to ship uh, wherever you want us to ship. Um, as long as it is legal. So do, we do receive quite a lot of um, requests from uh, Brazil, actually. And, uh, but to my knowledge, it is not possible to ship over there. So that's uh, absolutely a shame. This beauty here is a Key West Sanglo, 100% had blood. So it's a male. Born in 2023, uh, 1st of May. So it's almost one year old. And um, yeah, very, very much looking forward to see our very first 
Red Dragon, uh, not Red Dragon, but Sun Dragon, <coughs> Sun Dragon um, Key West. I mean, obviously the Red Dragon will also be um, super interesting to see, especially because um, I noticed that the Key West actually is adding a lot of color uh, to, uh, to the animals. So I'm still looking for Bill. Bill, if you are watching, you've been messaging me uh, so often and um, and I still owe you a picture of this crazy labby uh, female and you've been asking all the time. Uh, she looks kind of bluish on, the, uh, on our website and um, most probably this is not the case anymore, but... Uh, as soon as I, I found her, I really like to, to show her off, but it's not that easy. So, let's keep on going. Oh, nice. This is one of our. Red Dragon Labbies. This is a male. And as you can see, this beauty got my most favorite uh, color of, uh, <clears throat> of the papers. Um, because the green ones, they stay at our place and are, we keep them for a breeding, breeding purpose. Um, also, I'm not sure this beauty is in chat, but um, this is a Ghost Labby 100% had uh, VPI, uh, Ghost Labby had VPI Snow Glow, and um, yeah, this is a female, not sure if she been uploaded to the website yet, at least we have not been taking a pic of her. Um, but also some of these going to be uh, available. Hey, yeah, this um, this video going to be uploaded uh, to, uh, to our website, uh, to our YouTube uh, page for sure, as we always do. And um, yeah, once again, I really hope that today the... Um, <clears throat> the quality of the video is top-notch again and you don't have any issues uh, watching it and you can enjoy the animals. So since you have been asking if I am about to show off some Spectre, we already have been checking out this beauty here. This is the one female that we are about to make uh, available and uh, as far as I see this will be the only animal as well. Um, of course, we do have like some other animals available here. Like, the, not, not available, but uh, at our place. This is uh, IMG um, Spectre Jungle, also from last year. Already started really nice already got a really nice color and I'm so so happy that um, so far <clears throat> she is keeping uh, like the light color uh, on her back and um, yeah, really can't can't uh, can't stop uh, looking at her what a what a fantastic animal this is a sibling a VPI um, VPI, IMG, and uh, 100%, not 100%, what is it? <laughs> Probably it's a, a pass hat BEA, I think so. Yes, exactly. So it's a uh, pass hat uh, BEA and potentially a pass hat uh, type 1 as well. <clears throat> so that's definitely nice. Um, Talking about color, we also do have 
uh, very few Sunglow had Blood Leopard uh, from 2023 uh, available. Once again, not quite sure if uh, they've been uploaded to the website yet or that they are uh, that you can see them, but um, yeah, definitely will do so uh, really soon. Thanks a lot, Stefan, for letting me know that uh, that it's all good this time. I was really not amused when I found out that I was uh, like filming on a potato. So here we do have a hundred percent. This is a quadruple head uh, sun dragon leopard female. So just in case uh, that you do have uh, something like this in mind. That's uh, like a perfect female to get started with, with this project. Here we have a, a VPI Labby, 100% head Ennery. Um, also born 2023 at our place. This is a male. Also definitely gonna make this one um, available. <clears throat> and I like to show off like this anyway. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. So this is a VPI Snow Glow Labby. It's a, it's a male. This is also a keeper. And uh, yeah, just absolutely fantastic to <clears throat> for future for future projects. Also have um, a Ghost Labby, hundred percent head. Uh, VPI, this is a male, probably Ghost Levy Jungle if I, if I see this pattern. And checking. So I realize we do have like a lot of animals to go through. This is another red dragon uh, female, also born 2023. And I hope you see the color the same way as I do. Really, really happy with those beauties. Um, looking for some more special ones over here. This one is getting more and more colorful. This is a male. This is a Paradox Lipstick Albino, 100% head blood. He also gonna be available, or he is available. He's also been uploaded to our website, but I haven't been checking him out in quite some time. And the, the color, like the Paradox, is coming through more and more and the the pink I, that's like that's like being in a candy shop so what a beauty maybe i should need uh, to to keep him but i already have like two two way too many old bags so this is uh, the challenge as always here right we have uh, like another really, really beautiful litter to check out. And this is like one of the, spe one of the special ones from 2023. Um, we've been, we, we received the very first litter of uh, a habanero male. And uh, we've been breeding a habanero uh, to a labby, 100% head VPI, 100% head anery. So these animals here, this is a VPI Sanglo labby, 100% head leopard, so aka 100% head for habanero, and this is 50% pos head anery. 
it's one is a female and uh, we definitely gonna have any mids available of this litter uh, we also do have like uh, vpi sun glow really nice vpi sun glow 100 head leopard so 100 head habanero this is a male and also this animal i believe that we even have like two or three males of this litter are uh, gonna be available at our place this is not the very first litter with a hundred percent with a hundred percent heads but um it is like one of the litter with uh, quite a few i believe we had one tiny litter with uh, vpi sunglow 100 percent heads so far um but last year the very first litter dropped so so far we um so far uh, we have only had poshead litters what is like like i mean i totally get it i get requests all the time oh i i need a hundred percent head leopard um this is so important for me of obviously i get it but you have to understand when you are producing such animals like we we started from the scratch by breeding uh, i believe a vpi motley um to a hypo leopard this was the very very first breeding uh, when we like attempted to receive heads then those babies needed to grow and then you start uh, breeding those together so even if you hit a, like uh, a visual VPI sunglow, there can only be uh, obviously pos heads out of those litter. So it is uh, like it takes quite some time um, before uh, you receive your very first litter where you are having a hundred percent head uh, um, animals available. So very happy that we are at this stage now and that we can avoid uh, producing a lot of um, a lot of pos heads because this is like always a pain and not what i uh, what i like to do but in the end if you start such a project then you have no other choice than um, yeah you need to produce pos heads and hopefully hit some double visuals to be able to continue working um, with this with these animals I think we are eight or nine years in this project now, um, roughly. So, Bill, if you are watching this, I still owe you a picture of this damn labby. I, I believe it was a labby maybe even labby jungle a hundred percent had snow i think so here is another beauty just see a bit of it um she's also available this is like one of my lovely secret side projects that we do have um this uh, female this is a female i believe from 2020 20 and she's a, a motley 100 percent head vpi sterling um so this is like probably the only animal that is available of this combination and we are still looking for still looking for the animal for bill and we can stay have a short break enjoying this vpi adstack leopard this is a keeper and uh, very much into this pattern so usually i saw that it's not a spectacular idea to come to combine um 
Aztec and Leopard, but apparently it's, uh, it's not that bad. So imagine like having a, a Sun Dragon Aztec Leopard. Actually, it sounds like a, a pretty, a pretty decent idea. Okay, we are still looking around for this Labby for Bill. You can help me with that. So, what else can we talk about for those of you for those of you who have seen um, who have seen my um, who have seen the topic of today the topic the topic the topic of today's video um, obviously I'm so sorry but I'm guilty that was clickbait so it's uh, it is not like possible to become or at least say not it's not possible but uh, at least I cannot recommend to try to to get rich by breeding boars so um, I truly believe that it is definitely possible to to have like a, a decent um, a decent income uh, by uh, breeding animals but um, if you attempt to to like um, swim in cash um, this is most probably not the way to go to be honest so uh, it is an incredible amount of work and um, and also I truly believe that it is not a good idea to to have like um, too many animals at your place obviously we already have a lot but uh, uh, we know that there are breeders out there. We are talking about several thousand animals. And here at our place, uh, we are talking about maybe 600. So um, in my opinion, this is still a, like a manageable amount. And um, if you like attempt, or if, if you believe that you really wanna um, earn a lot, a lot of money uh, by breeding snakes, um, you definitely need, I believe, not only one species, more species, multiple species. Um, and uh, especially if you are talking about animals that are way cheaper, then you are talking about the thousands of animals. So I cannot uh, recommend it. And so sorry if uh, if you thought that I gonna, I gonna drop a secret. Um, no. So <clears throat> here we have a labby. This is like uh, the last labby, a hundred percent head snow from 2021. So indeed, there is like I believe we have just three animals of this litter um, are left available. Um, so just a second. And especially of the 2021 animals, we took, we took uh, pigs today. So that's, uh, but still on the hunt for. Nice. <laughs> just got a, just received a, a new. Uh, a new comment that was held back by YouTube and I I never gonna get it uh, why people are entering this live stream and uh, want to um, and want to uh, yeah talk shit it's uh, you seem to be really bored however this beauty here is a VPI Sanglo Labby, 100% head anery. Um, and this is a male, 2023. It's a super light one, um, 
but especially the tail is pretty colorful and um, this is gonna be very interesting um, to check out like within the next two years <coughs> Here's another one, but this is a female. And here you can you can tell that the, the tail is even more colorful than the male. All right, what else can we show you today? Um, this litter what's this litter about okay I haven't been checking this one uh, for quite some time this is another uh, specter litter and um, we have like BEA ghost poshead VPI this is a male in this litter and yeah this was the IMG ghost jungle poshead VPI as well those animals have like kind of already been sold but they are back available right now so in case you are looking uh, for some animals to boost uh, um, your spectre um, your spectre projects here's an IMG VPI Sunglow Poshead BEA female so nice one all right so i think that's it for today in case you have any requests as always any questions just send a message hit me up very much looking forward to every single comment and um, enjoy your weekend. I'm on my way home now. Um, my girls are waiting and uh, I can also use to get some rest after uh, crazy weeks and um, hope to see you again next week. Think about checking out our website, uh, imperatormorphs.com. There you can see our available animals. And um, see you in the next live. Take care. Bye-bye.